Hi, and welcome to this episode of GTP TV. My name's Rowan Brown, and I'm a director here at Green Tailor Partners. Today I'm doing a follow-up to a previous episode on contractor reporting. I wanted to show you just some of the ways of getting some of the information out that you're going to need to do your reporting. The reporting's going to need to be completed and lodged with the ATO by the 21st of July 2013 for this current financial year we're in. Therefore, you need to have an understanding of how we can get some of this information out. In the previous video, I showed some ways of putting markers on clients' card files and also maybe setting up specific expense categories just to track the reporting. The, today, I'll be using MYB19 to, to illustrate some ways of doing the reporting, but the same principles will be able to be applied to programs such as Quicken or QuickBooks. The underlying concept is the same in all programs. So I'll just show you, remembering that we've already been through and shown some ways of tracking the information. In MYB we go to our reports area. Now one of the easiest reports to use is if you've actually been using uh, the, the payables area of MYB for all purchases you put, buy through a supplier. You can simply go to purchases and then under our suppliers we might use the purchases summary. I'll just customise this report and what you can do is I'll just open up the dates to get a wide range of data. In our previous video I said about maybe setting up an identifier for contractors so you just put that identifier in here or you just display that data. As you can see we've got two suppliers that have come up that have been indicated as being contractors and you can see we've got the purchases here and the tax paid. Now on the report we actually have to put the total paid, therefore it's going to be those two figures added together. That was would be going on the form for the ATO. One of the things with the form is that the information provided, you need to only provide those pay, those suppliers where you have actually been paying them or have paid them. You see in MYB's case it's actually got open invoices which are unpaid invoices and closed ones here. So to get that correct we might go to customise and just show all closed invoices you go to display so now we're narrowing that down just to the ones that have actually been incur incurred during the year and paid so that report could then be used in conjunction with using the card file to get the other information such as the ABN and the address for their suppliers another method of getting information out was my suggestion to maybe use set up a specific expense category solely for those payments you're making to contractors. Now this, look again, it's not technically correct the way I'm going to be telling you because it's going to be including all purchases from those suppliers, not necessarily just those ones that you've actually paid them during that year. So in this case I'm going to use a general ledger detail and this would be very similar to the way I'd be getting this information out of Quick and more QuickBooks. I okay, customise in this case and I might go up to the top here and I'm just going to choose one category now for my example today I'm actually going to use just what is called the uh, under cost of sales here there is one item called equipment I'll just click OK and I'm actually going to export that to Excel so now I've got this in Excel we're using Excel 2010 today it will be a little bit different if you're in some of the older versions but the principles again are all the same. As you can see we've got a list of transactions out of the system now for all the different suppliers that we've actually bought in this case equipment from during the year. So we, to, to assist us in getting the report right we need to be doing some subtotaling and get these in order. So I'll highlight all the data. Now I'm actually going to go to the sort button and I'm going to sort it by, in my case it's going to be column E, which happens to be the names. You can see now we've got a, a list which is sorted by names, so you can see we've got them all nicely in order. Now I might also further then subtotal these to get me some totals. It just comes up with a little bit of an error because it's not sure what to subtotal on. Now what I actually want to do is I want to, every time my supplier changes, I want to change, I want to do a subtotal at that point. So each change in, and it happens to be Kirby Super Stands in this case, that's the first one. I want to actually sum, so ensure you've got the word sum there. I actually want to sum the dollar amount column, which is this column here, so that's one that's marked 181. I can click OK, 
you see now I've got a nice subtotal happening. So any that have only got the one entry like this for Kirby's ones only has hasn't actually subtotaled, just be aware of things like that. But if I go down to Footloose Joe, you can see the total expense I've had for the year was thirteen thousand one hundred and forty six. If I need to know what the GST on that is, it's simply going to, assuming that all purchases from this supplier had GST, I just simply have to multiply that by 0.1 to get 10%. Therefore, the GST would be 1,314.60. If I want to know the total I've actually paid for the year, I can just easily go and just add that up. And you see, we've got 14,460. Therefore, on my report, under Footloose Dance Studios, I would have total payments of $14,460 with $1,314 of GST being reported there. As I said, this report is showing all expenses, not necessarily whether they're paid or just incurred. Technically, it's probably not right, but it is a start to how you can get some information out of the, your software. I hope this has been a benefit uh, and we'll hope to be doing some more videos soon. Thank you.